Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. New time, new station. WILK Saturday mornings at 10. Well, Jerry Policone is joining us right now, the head coach for the Holy Redeemer softball team. Well, uh, coach, uh, first up, the Bill Howerton Strikeout Cancer Weekend. You're a part of this great weekend, and uh, you guys trying to do your part in helping to strike out cancer. Oh, uh, yeah, we're heading up to uh, Dunmore, and I think it's uh, Schumann Park, and we're going to play North Pocono at 5 o'clock on Sunday. Well, tell us about getting uh, involved with this, Jer, and, and what it's like for, for you and your teammate, you and the, the kids there at Holy Redeemer to kind of get a little flavor of this. Um, it's, it's a tremendous opportunity for them. They're excited about it. Um, we got a, a phone call a couple months ago about it, and we jumped on top of it, and the kids are excited. Um, you know, they're wanting to, you know, wear the shirts, do the whole thing. You know, getting involved as best they can is, I guess, there's a whole bunch of teams involved, and it should be fun. Coach, let's talk about your team this year. Competition Double uh, A will be awfully good as always in uh, District Two. Uh, let's start with uh, your pitching staff and uh, and take us through your infield there at Holy Redeemer. Um, pitching primarily for us this year is going to be uh, Kirsten Coffey and Morgan Benkowski. They'll be put some time with each other. Um, they're both young. Morgan's a freshman. Kirsten's a sophomore. So Kirsten is a little bit more experienced with the high school level and the playoffs. Um, around the diamond, we have Katie Gushkick first, um, Britt Hebda second, and then Kristen and Morgan will again, they'll switch off and on with shortstop and pitching, and then Kaya Swanick will be up third. And behind the plate, we have Abby Shorts. Coach, uh, you talk about the experience coming back there in the infield. Uh, how many of those are new players, and how many of them have some game experience from last season? Um, Katie Gushka was a starting first baseman last year. Um, and obviously, Kaya Swanick, she was familiar in the circle, but also Sharon Town with Kristen last year. So, but she's also very familiar with the corners. And Kristen played the shortstop position very well for us when Kaya pitched last year. So I think we're pretty strong there. The big newcomer right there is Britt Hebda, but she does have a lot of uh, travel ball experience that helps her out. Coach, take us through the outfield. Uh, tell us about the experience you have out there. Um, basically, I feel is Two new people. Um, right now, we're going to probably have Olivia Menningham left, um, returning starter Jim Ringsdorf in center, and we'll have Randy Kuhar in right. And how about the bats this year, Coach? Uh, how are you feeling about the offensive production? Um, if the bats really start to pick up, I mean, they're, they're going to put a lot of trouble out there. Um, they're starting to come around. You know, the potential is there, one for nine for everyone, and they hit the ball very well. Um, it's just a matter of how much work they put into it. Coach, one of the quotes you put in the preview magazine is that you feel that you have one of those teams that can compete with anyone. Uh, tell us about the product that you're putting out there at Holy Redeemer and the competition this year. You know, not only in the league, but when you get to District 2 and Double A, uh, You'll be battle tested, and everybody will, because it should make everybody better when the state playoffs come along. Uh, teams will be pushing each other to be successful. Oh, absolutely! I mean, everyone that's going to be playing, and especially in the district playoffs, has that experience of being there. Um, I think what helps us is our kids. You know, the majority of the team has experienced that. You know, final championship games, so they know what it takes to get to that point, and that helps us as coaches tremendously. Um, we know where to go to and what to do for them to make them better and to, you know, they know what to expect when they get to that game. Coach, how about the cohesiveness you're getting from your young ladies there at Holy Redeemer? Uh, tell us about how the girls are meshing on the field. Um, to be honest with you, um, in fact, we made the comment today at practice. Um, Communication-wise, they're probably the best team we've seen talking to each other out there on the field um, than we've seen in a long time. Everyone knows their job. Everyone helps each other out, and they're right there to back each other up. So it makes our job easier. You know, we don't have to be yelling from dugout to dugout and out in the field. They all help each other out, and we can just let them play the game. Jerry Policonis joining us here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Coach, are you worried much about some of these games? But uh, you know, the weather's been a factor, jamming up. You know, getting three, four, maybe five games a week. Is that going to cause any issues? I don't, I don't think so, especially when we have two pitchers that we can, you know, lean on and know that they can get the job done. 
that that helps us, you know, really, really big. Um, in fact, we have four games in a row come up Sunday to Wednesday next week, uh, and we don't mind that. That's you know, we'd rather be doing that than you know, be batting around the ball of practice. Well, get ready for four in a row here on the uh, week coming up. It is the Holy Redeemer softball team. Coach Paula Konis, want to appreciate your time. Want to thank you very kindly and wish you and your team the best this season. No problem, John. Thanks for having me. That is the Holy Redeemer softball team here on the Jamandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.